Oh my gosh, you guys, I have more Bible tea. So Jacob has 12 sons, okay? And in Genesis 49, he blesses all of them individually. But today we're going to talk about Judah, Zebulun, Naphtali, and Benjamin. So he blesses them, right? He tells Judah, from your lineage will come the Messiah. So Jesus comes from the line of Judah. What does he promise Zebulun? For Zebulun, he says that you and your tribe will live by the seashore, okay? It says, Naphtali, you will produce beautiful words, okay? And then fast forward, the tribe of Zebulun end up settling near the Sea of Galilee, and by the Sea of Galilee is where Jesus did a lot of his teachings. And it says so in Matthew 4, which we will read right now. Leaving Nazareth, he went and lived in Capernaum, which is by the lake in the area of Zebulun and Naphtali. So legit, God is speaking through Jacob. Now, what about Benjamin and his tribe? This right here shook me. Jacob says to Benjamin, Benjamin is a ravenous wolf. In the morning, he devours his prey. In the evening, he divides the plunder. So I guess the blessing slash, I don't even know, maybe curse, is that he is a ravenous wolf, okay? And guess who is in his lineage? King Saul. This is in 1 Samuel 9, okay? It says, there was a Benjamite, da da da, -da, -da Kish is a Benjamite, had a son named Saul. Sheesh. Believe it or not, Saul was anointed and chosen by God to be the king of the Israelites. But Saul started getting consumed by pride. You're too prideful. I need a new king. Guess who the new king is? David, under the lineage of Judah. But it does not end there. Down this line is Paul of Tarsus, bro. But... He was first known as Saul. But remember Saul? Saul killed all, like a bunch of Christians or Jesus followers. And I'm going to show y'all in the word where it says that Paul slash Saul is a Benjamite. Paul says, I ask then, did God reject his people? By no means. I am an Israelite myself, a descendant of Abraham from the tribe of Benjamin. So Saul, King Saul, ravenous wolf, bro. And by the grace and redemption of Jesus, Saul became Paul writing down more than half of the New Testament.